there. It, it been around for a minute. Even me growing up in Vietnam. Yeah. I remember the way they depicted like people on like Cinemax or HBO or stuff like that in Asia. Yeah. Like growing up, I have like low key, no high key, a racist grandma. Yeah. Like oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Like because all you see in TV is all these violence movie, all these things. So when it comes to like black people, like I remember when I first come to America and my grandma said the gnarliest thing. She was like, yo, like, don't hang out with too many black people because they're super violent. Like blah, blah, blah. All that. I look at him like, what? yeah. And I was like, nine. Yeah. <laughs> but like by the time I get to America, honestly, most of my friends are black. They're the first people to help me out with anything because I barely speak English then yeah. and now. <laughs> so it's like, it, it's crazy how media and movies really change people's perspective. And that's one way they control how you think Absolutely. over, yeah. like, see. Cultural, cultural imperialism is America's greatest asset, is Hollywood. Uh, if you, look, we both grew up on, in uh, another side of the world. So I, I just like, I was fascinated. I was a marabou, right? Yeah. I was a weeb for America, but apparently not enough for this guy. But whatever, <laughs> right? And that's part of the reason why I can speak English uh, as coherently as a, as a native speaker. Um, better than me. I mean, I <laughs> I was obsessed though. Like I like exclusively read like really? books in English, watched all the TV shows, movies I could, a Torrent Bro. and stuff like that. Bro, you know I, what did, I, mean? I didn't even expect to go to America. To be honest, I want like I to. when I took English class, I was sitting in Vietnam. Like the fuck do I need to learn this for? <laughs> like what? Like why? Let me just draw a fucking manga and shit doodling. That's what I, I yeah. Did I, I was just well. sitting there like. I remember joke about hot dog. They're like, "Oh fuck, they eat dogs over there." <laughs> like we making fun of you guys for, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. And finally, one day, my mom like, "Yeah, man, pack your back. We are going to Minnesota." Like, <laughs> and I'm like, why? cultural hub of the United States. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I got them. Like, why? Why? Like, it's crazy. Do you, Thanks. So, do like, you, how long did you live in Minnesota for? I lived there. I think almost like eight years or not. Like oh, I, I basically was raised by Minnesota, not Minnesota Vietnam. is like a, a shock. Dude. Yeah, it's like cold. from from eleven uh, year old to like seventeen or yeah. eighteen, I was there. So I practically was raised by fucking rednecks. Yeah, dude, that's the. That's I, the I worst live in part. a trailer park my that, whole life there. That's the yeah. worst part because you're like, like my grandfather. <clears throat> okay, came to America. And on my mother's side and was like, I'm going to settle here. And, yeah. I, and and that here is fucking New Jersey. I'm like, what are you doing, <laughs> bro? Jersey. Like, New York is right there. <laughs> you couldn't just, like, go a little bit further north and just, like, listen, settle in New York. New Jersey has the best buffalo chicken cheese steaks in the tri-state area. Let's take it easy. <laughs> okay. well, what it does easy. Minnesota have? Nothing. That's the, the one. That, that's the thing, like. Out of any place we go, we can't go to California anywhere. Like I remember people talk about like Anaheim, Little Saigon, yeah, all this like thing, big, right? Yeah, I'm like, a big like this looks there, sick. Too. Like yeah. we watching all these TV show, palm tree beaches. Why they choose like, Minnesota? Talk, uh, because my aunt was like, uh, my aunt and my uncle was already living there. I don't know why. Yeah. Like that's a whole different story. I never like, asked. How the fuck do they choose? Like when like when, the, when, come when here, we like, got what? there, I was like, I was expecting. Oh yeah, America. Fuck yeah, I got there. Just cornfield everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like industrial brickyard. I'm Dude, like, bro. Like, like when you said where, Minnesota, I was like, Minnesota is. But like, out what there, what's man. going on? Like I got there. Like it was still chill though, right? Because like oh, like, it was yeah. definitely not chill. Oh wait, really? <laughs> For me, I love For like me, I when I visited English. when I visited New Jersey. Like I fucking love that shit. I, I loved even I, I going love to now. like. I, I love Minnesota now because I make like friend with good people. Yeah, and I actually Loki assimilate myself into the American culture. Yeah, learn about everything, join sport, all of that. But ho and behold, I still have an accent, and I'm like the only Asian kid in town. So. Yeah, it didn't go well until like halfway through. Yeah, then I don't know what happened in my head. Like someone just smacked me or something. But I have like a weird sense of arrogance. It's pop out of nowhere. I get a <laughs> like faux hawks, like join in soccer. Just like act like I'm the shit and just fake it till you make it. And it's just yeah. like here, it just end up, you know. But before that, it was it was such a shock and the culture was so different. To be honest. 
that the way I was raised in Vietnam and here, I'm like, oh fuck, like this is not the same. Yeah, at all. No, <laughs> for sure. I was I was just saying like I loved little like boring things that Americans take for granted, like going to Walmart. Like oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Dude, like I first fucking time I love weed, I go to Walmart. <laughs> Like, I love <laughs> I love that shit. Like thirty different brands of Oreos. Like that is excellent. Okay, yeah. it's yeah. excellent. Because like I, I didn't have Walmart that growing up. You smoke weed. Oh, we just walk around. I don't know <laughs> why, man. We just go in there, buy toilet paper, trying to TP somebody. And I saw one of my uh, cousin walk up to me. Not really cousin, like family friend. And she walk up to me and she look at me like, "Yo, like, what are you doing here?" This lay. Like, and I remember just standing there looking at her smile. I thought I said something. But apparently I didn't say shit, and she just looked at me. She was like a badass little kid too. Yeah. She just looked at me like, okay. Yeah, you're high yeah. as hell. Yeah, it was <laughs> like, I, I see. Like, have a good night. I won't tell your mom. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was, a, it, well, Minnesota is so boring, so it became like a very, just try everything, yeah. but crack. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Like, literally, it was so, it, they have a problem. Like, so I would literally like, go to random abandoned lake we would jump off cliff we would like do the gnarliest shit like burn you know what i mean like just yeah. go burn tires. yeah burn tire build a pallet mountain of shit, like tower yeah. and just set it on fire go to barn and party drive like two hours for like a house party of 20 people yeah like yeah. getting Damn. into fight like and you ask like why <laughs> yeah something to do though yeah yeah so it's like it's an interesting aspect, but it but like found a good group of friends to like kind of for, to forget about the whole racism shit. Mm. But overall, I I like Minnesota. Yeah. Like it, it's a good place to raise a kid. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot, lot of tires to burn. <laughs> a lot of cornfield. Yeah. yeah. So all right, let's talk about that then. How did you? How did you get your start in fashion? And also on top of that, because there's a lot of people, we didn't even do like a good intro. We're bad at this, okay? We didn't even do a good intro. Uh, give us like your quick background and then tell us how you got started in fashion. My quick background, I guess, uh, I should say most of it, or not uh, like the beginning of it, but I got into fashion because I used to play a hella MMO uh, online game. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. And I was on forum and I was bored, so. Which MMO? Uh, dude, I, Play from WoW to Perfect World to like a lot of RPG MMOs. Are you gonna so, play New World, the one that just yeah, came out? Yeah, like I, I've been hey, trying New World, but go. it's like by Amazon. Yeah. So like, <laughs> so the whole time I'm like, fuck Jeff Bezos. <laughs> that's, our, that's our boss, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, so I get started on it, and basically, I went. I'm on forum a lot because it go back to being in Minnesota. Have no friend at first. Like being a nerd at home, just like build computer, playing it. So I learned how to go on forum, join Gil, and all these things, you know, make friends on the internet. So it became like a, a full nerd up until like whatever arrogance I yeah. like built up like confidence. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I realized people have these things called signature on forum. Right. And they look sick. So I started downloading GIMP and Photoshop, touring it, and like learn how to make people signature. And one day, long story short, I made a graphic and I thought I should put on a shirt. And I had it in my five, four minute. I didn't really even look at it. And uh, I joined a Facebook group of fashion kids. This is when I first take interest in sneaker, like Jordan and shit. Yeah. Like line up for it, like overnight to get like bread 11, all of that, like uh -huh. collecting sneaker. And in this fashion group, one day I'm like, fuck it. Like I'm gonna post a t-shirt in this fashion group. And this fashion group have crazy people. Everyone in that fashion group is now like a big ass like brand. Like Damn. that that kids that just did collab with Off White. That people blown up. Yeah. Rocky was in it. That is kid named Ian. Dude, we have like from respectable people. She fucking sixty nine was in it. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, really? We have sixty nine in it before he have tattoo, and people would roast the fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, like literally, he he was yeah, like that. How crazy this fashion group was! It's yeah. like five hundred fashion kid from Minnesota all the way to L.A. and New York. So I po uh, post my T-shirt on it, and everyone fucking love it. Yeah. And at the time, uh, I think ASAP Mob was blowing up, and there this kid in the group called Ian, and I, 
me and him chat back and forth and they're like yo like you want to model this shit he said like, yeah i model it you fly me out and me as a kid like 16 15 16 i was stoked as fuck like yo this one chance and he's super affiliated with rocky yeah and yeah. they literally call him like the fashion king at the time yeah 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 so i flew him out he modeled for it next thing you know the brand blew up and that how i got started but at the at the time i was still living in minnesota and even with all that like gaining like traction i was like depressed as fuck so going all i do which is like go to school go to fucking frat party drink sleep to repeat while everyone in that fashion group was blowing up yeah. they're like people getting a war by fucking obama michelle obama people like on vogue kids was like everyone was like blown so i'm like fuck it i was drunk one day i walk into the library of the college order a one-way ticket tweet like yo i'm coming to LA. life have two hundred dollars and <laughs> i end up here and i got here meet really lucky meet a lot of good people and damn yeah another six year here i am you know with good friend i guess and uh somewhat of a name yeah <laughs> that's it like let's go that's the gist of the whole story i'm saying it dude Pre-workout already. I've been. I'm ready to run through a brick wall, baby.